Welcome to this DTS video blog post. We're doing something new. I think it's exciting what we're doing. We are here on site and we want to thank the University of Delaware and specifically the women's lacrosse staff for helping us, uh, helping us out with this, what we tried and uh, helping us out with this video. So I'm going to pan and show you where we are. We are at, again, the University of Delaware way up in their press box. As you can see here and we're going to take a look at using an Apple Extreme which is that white box there which is a uh, wireless networking device a MacBook Pro and the new Apple iPad 2 how to break your video down live using these two well up in the press box break down the video on the MacBook Pro um, and then set up an easy user-friendly I mean it's easy to set up network between the MacBook Pro and your Apple iPad 2 and have the video shown all the way down on the field on the Apple iPad 2 from the MacBook Pro. Hope that makes sense. We'll show you the steps, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's get our MacBook Pro set up. First, we need to connect to the Airport Extreme. So you'll need to have that plugged in, uh, powered up, and when, if I just turn this off, if you turn on your wireless, it should pick it up. Now the name of your Airport Extreme will be different. We've gone ahead and given ours a name and added a password, which would be definitely something we'd recommend. Once your network is set up, we want to go to iTunes and turn on home sharing. To do that, you click Advanced and turn on home sharing. You'll need to put in your Apple ID and password. And obviously, and here's a link if you're not sure if you don't have one. Here's our movie library. You can see I don't have anything in there right now, uh, so that would be great to, to see once we get our clips from Game Breaker. All right, let's go ahead and open up our game. You can do this again live if you have somebody coding it and communicate with that person in the press box or wherever what clips. And uh, through support, we definitely can help you take a look at that and make it easy for you. Uh, but for this example, we're just going to take a game that we've already recorded and we're going to, we want, let's say coach wants to take these four shots and to analyze them. So we select them, click make movie, and this is in our version 8. We're going to go file, export, movies, convert selected instances by row to iPhone movies into iTunes. Uh, if this is going to be part of your re regular workflow, uh, adding a custom shortcut to this would make it really really a, a lot faster than going through these menus. As you can see, I have one custom shortcut here. So once we click this, it's going to take these movies. If we had other rows selected, it would make separate movies. Right now, um, we're just going to select one. The time to export will vary based on how many clips you have, um, how long they are, um, if you're compressing the files while they're coming in, making them a lot smaller, a lot faster to transfer. Again, a lot of things that we can help you make uh, as quick as possible. So our movie pops up. Let's open iTunes. Just to show you, there is our movie now in our library, which wasn't there before. All right, we're going to head down and uh, take a look at the iPad where we are on the field and get that set up. All right, we got our video broken down up in the press box. Here we are down on the field with our iPad, and um, in a minute we're going to turn the camera around, give you an idea of how far we are, and then we're going to take a look at the iPad to how we get those videos from that laptop all the way up there to view on the laptop or on our iPad too down here on the field. Here we are on the field about the 50, pretty close to where we'd be standing. And there's our video, all the way up in one of those windows in the press box. Now we'll take a look at the iPad 2 and the video. Get our iPad set up here. So we're going to unlock. We need to first get connected to our Airport Extreme. So click Settings. Then you're going to go to Wi-Fi. If I set this back to off. Okay. Slide that back to on. Try to anyway and it should pick up your Airport Extreme. Again, we've given ours a name with a password. Uh, for security reasons, yours may just be a bunch of numbers until you have that set up. There's a, a number of tutorials on, on the web that you can check that out on how to do that. Now that we're done that, 
head back on our MacBook Pro we've already set up the um, home sharing so there may be a couple steps here because we've already set up our iPad that you need to go through again check out um, some of Apple's tutorials on to how to do that click videos and you should see your library which is ours is called Pete tap that there's our movie of shots click on it click the play and there's our clips of shots well we hope you found our video post helpful at least interesting, um, give you some ideas of the exciting things that are coming out with our software, with uh, the different Apple devices. So there's a lot of exciting things on the way. So keep an eye out. We got our Facebook page, Twitter, our support page always there. We got uh, a lot of support offerings to help you guys make the most of your video. There's uh, Apple just announced that their new operating system's coming out, Lion. So we'll, we got uh, new features there coming out. We'll take a look at how that works with our software, make our lives even better, as well as an operating system update for your mobile devices, for your Apple iPad, all your iDevices. They also announced a cloud service. Not exactly sure right now what that all entails, but we'll keep you up to date here, again, through those different notification ways um, that we stay in touch with you guys, uh, as well as we hope to have our version 9 coming out sometime soon. Again, no dates, no specific uh, features listed, but just stay here, stay on our post, stay up to date, and we'll keep you up to date.